This video is made possible by 343 Studios. Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan343 here. We just got a package from DHL. I am very excited to check this package out. Very, very, very excited. I've got some awesome videos to come out uh, for this video. So, we have another moving head from Sheds. I want to make sure you guys can see all this really good here. And here is the moving head we're looking at. It's a Gobo 100 watt uh, moving head. Now, this has mm, it's like 16 channel DMX. Um, I'm sure it has Master Slave on it, all that good stuff. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. We'll get into that, I'm sure it does. Sound sensitivity, all that good stuff. So we first get a power con. We get a DMX cable, I love how they send out, and these are really good DMX cables too, these are not cheap ones. And we get a mounting bracket with the uh, Look at that stuff on it, so much easier. All right, pull this bad boy out. Ooh, that thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> a lot bigger than I thought it was. Again, I want to give a big shout out to Sheds. We're going to pull this out. And, wow. This thing is pretty darn cool. <laughs> Already, it's looking cool. Very, very cool. Got a little dirt on the front of it here. Buttons are good. Again, little little moving head that has power con in and power con out. Very, very cool. DMX in, but DMX out. Uh, it has a color wash around it. It's getting steamed up because it's going from warmth to cold. It's got uh, six prisms in it. And if this works really good, we're going to be getting three more of these and uh, putting these on my truss and having four of the matching moving heads instead of two of two. Build quality looks to be really good. Uh, like I said, it's got handles here on the side that you can unscrew, but I wouldn't know why you'd want to. Uh, looks pretty good hanging upside down. Bracket mounts in there really good, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and plug this dude in, see what it does. All right, so one thing I'm noticing is the bracket that holds this light uh, when it's moving at fast paces, as you can see there, the light is teetering. That's one thing that I don't like about it is the bracket is, isn't tight on there. Like it's tight, the tightest it'll go, and it's still teetering, so. Uh, but that's the only thing so far about it that I hate and that's probably the only thing that I don't like is that, that uh, the bracket doesn't teeter. So when I put these up on a truss, I'll definitely put safety cables on those. I don't think it's going to fall, but just want to uh, kind of point that out there that it is teetering a little bit. So, but uh, yeah, it looks, looks good other than that. It's got the nice display on it. Uh, the color wash on the bottom is great. It looks great in fog. Um, I think it looks, I mean, it's got some weight to it. It's 100 watt. It's got cool things where the, the beams don't actually stay on or the beam, the, the gobo shuts off and then the color wash just stays on. So yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I like them. I think they're uh, very cool. I'm going to try to get three more, um, of these and at least one more. Possibly maybe two more or three more all together and have four of these. So we will uh, we'll see how uh, How it turns out anyway So yeah, it's got some really cool patterns in it uh, It's kind of got like a slidoscope like it's doing right there 
Yeah, and then it spins at different speeds. They kind of the the like those. I like those right there. Those are cool. And then it kind of goes that way. I'm just gonna go back that way into purples. If you got these DMX and got them to stay out front, that'd be sweet. And I could actually do that with my controller. So, which we get a couple more of these, I'll hook them up to my controller and show you what they look like all together DMXed on a DMX controller. Like that was cool. Then it's kind of got like this little ring here that's kind of going and it's drilling like crazy. All right, guys. We Made her back to the house here, and I have this actually working with the Rockforce W4 wireless DMX controller uh, that I have here, uh, and is running a, a, a chase show. I have eight scenes programmed. The uh, DMX can buying keep shutting off. I think the battery's low on it, but so yeah, it works. And uh, these are actually some Rockville deals. I'm hopefully going to be uh, getting uh, Sheds to send me their version of theirs. Because I've been having problems with these where they, they lose service or signal. And then they, you know, then reconnect. And So we'll see. But it's doing a pretty cool show right now. I'm actually going to shut the lamp off and let you see how it looks. This is a little show I've got it sitting on where it kind of goes, stops, and then changes gobos, changes colors, and pans back the other way. So again, the gobos are crystal clear. I really, really like the gobos. Uh, girlfriend over there doesn't like them too much in her face, but she get over it. <laughs> so yeah, these could be used for totem lights if you wanted to. Um, they're really great for totem lights, actually. They're really like the, the coloring and the, the gobos. I really like those gobos. Probably better than my 90 watt movers, uh, which I have here. Sheds actually has some movers that look identical to this. Uh, this 90 watt I have here. Uh, and they, they said they just don't, they're not their big sellers. I don't know why, these are pretty nice uh, moving heads, but I do agree, this one, this one, if I had to choose between that Gobo and, or this moving head and that one, I'd definitely choose that one. You know what guys, the best part of this light that, that I see is you can control the color wash. Not only what it does, But how bright it is <laughs> that's pretty cool so got it doing that this is kind of a, an all-around it does whatever it wants but I'm that's one of the settings we're able to do whatever or I can make it do that color or this color or uh, speed up or slow down or do that or do that Dim it down just a little bit here so you can see it a little better. Um, what else color will it do with that? Like it'll just stay one color. You can make it any color you want. So yeah, lots of customization you can do with this with a controller.